Welcome to Culture Talk. This is the segment where we talk about the intersection of science, faith, and pop culture, and how culturally relevant topics can be used to start conversations about your faith. I'm joined today with astrophysicist Jeff Zwering. Thank you so much for joining Hi, Sandra. Me. It's good to be here. <laughs> we're going to talk about a topic that I'm really surprised we're talking about in 2019, and that mm -hmm. is flat earth. Like, why is that such a popular belief these days? You know, there's part of me, I just don't have a good answer yeah. to that. I, I mean, I know there have been celebrity people who've talked about yeah. it. It came up in the NBA with Kyrie Irving yeah. kind of giving credence to the idea. Um, you know, I think some of it is just really ultimately born out of a lack of trust of what's going on out there. Right. And so yeah. this is kind of a, maybe we've been taught the wrong thing and uh, maybe there's a different way to look at it. And so there's some kind of interest or excitement generated in, in exploring that possibility. So. Yeah, well... It's really fascinating because you're an astrophysicist, so mm -hmm. we can talk about what we would expect to see if the Earth were flat. So what would the cosmos look like if the Earth were flat? Does that change everything? Well, it, it kind of depends because mm -hmm. basically the, the, the thing that's common amongst all flat Earthers is mm -hmm. that the Earth is flat. Mm -hmm. What happens beyond that, there's different ways to look at it. I know one person I've talked with you know, argues that uh, everything up in the sky is basically just a big dome. And so we're looking at a projection. So everything kind of goes on out in the cosmos as it was, but we're flat. We're not kind of part of the cosmos, if you will. Yeah. Others who will say, you know, we're flat. There's the sun and the moon. They follow tracks. They're actual objects up in the sky. And then the cosmos is just further out there. And so it really, it kind of depends on what version of flat Earth you're talking about. At least my experience has been. Right that there's different scenarios of what things would look like out there. In general, it's just kind of what we see because you use the telescopes and you can see a lot of that stuff out there. Right. Well, you bring up telescopes. Like, what would we expect to see and how, how would we understand what flat earthers think of data that comes in from Hubble and elsewhere? How would they interpret that? Because we see mm -hmm. that the Earth is, is a sphere. Well, to, to my knowledge, every flat earther I've talked about largely sees the whole space program as either a hoax or a conspiracy. Oh, wow. Okay. And so the satellites where we're getting pictures from, those are not real pictures, or they're not actual pictures. They're photoshopped or generated mm -hmm. or staged or something like that. So anything where we put something in space to see what's going on, that would not be an actual picture. Everything we've taken on the ground, you know, obviously there's bunches of telescopes around the world. You can buy your telescopes. What you see through those, that's, you're actually seeing what's up there. But this idea of putting things up in space, if you're going to go with a flat earth, that's just kind of out of bounds because there's no way to make that work. Well, I'm wondering then, because I've, I've encountered flat earthers and a question that I've brought up to them just out of genuine curiosity. That means a lot of people have been in on this secret. Mm -hmm. right. And for what purpose? And that's not clear. I, I'm not entirely sure. And mm -hmm. this may reduce some of my credibility in this, but I'm working on a balloon experiment where we're going to float a balloon around Antarctica. Well, the way Antarctica works in a flat Earth and in a spherical Earth are two very different mm -hmm. things. So I'm going to be part of the active conspiracy, not just being duped into thinking it's a sphere because mm -hmm there would be very different outcomes to our experiment right. if uh, the Earth was not actually a sphere. All right. Well, I have another question now concerning what the Bible says, because some would argue that the Bible actually teaches a flat Earth, that there's this firmament and there's a domed vault. How mm -hmm. would you respond to that? You know, I, I, I get where you can look at certain passages of the Bible and say, oh, that fits better with a flat Earth, or that seems to indicate a flat Earth. But what, as I've looked at that and studied, I know we uh, did an episode with Ken Keithley where we mm -hmm. talked about flat earth. And this is not a new discussion in Christianity. Mm -hmm. It's gone back. I think it's episode 16 or 17, 17 in the give and take. You can go back and look at that. So this is not a new thing. But what I have found is that um, there's no uniform consensus or even people who say, yeah, this is the best interpretation. It really does seem to more some people saying, well, this might do this. Nothing in the Bible demands or even argues that that's the best interpretation. And so when I look at people who hold scripture in high regard, that doesn't seem to be what comes down as something I have to take or even am, that, that that's the best way to look at it. And mm -hmm. so I think the Bible is kind of largely silent on the shape of the earth. Right. And so science actually fills that in much better. And that's a wonderful point to make. So if we're in conversation with someone, whether they're not a Christian or they're mm -hmm. a Christian and they're holding to this belief, we can point them to scientific data and hope that maybe they will trust that? Is that what you would recommend? Well, 
there, there's a part to where I say my biggest concern is not whether you're a flat earther or whether you believe in a flat earth or not. Really, I'm more interested in who do you think God is and how do you relate to him? And so someone who's a skeptic and believes in a flat earth, great, go ahead, believe in a flat earth. Really, I'm more interested in who, who what do you do with Christ? Right. Because that's a central issue. Right. Um, so the, I guess uh, what I would say is really be more interested in why, explore why they think it's a flat mm -hmm. earth. Because uh, as you get to know the person, understand their view, you're going to actually be better equipped to respond and speak into their lives because you actually understand what they're thinking right. instead of making some generalization based on what everybody else thinks yeah. about that. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jeff. If you'd like to hear more on the topic of flat earth, visit the Reasons to Believe YouTube channel and search flat earth.